So five shots, 2.75. Hey folks, Wish SE. Got a question from several subscribers recently asking me about timers and the advantage or disadvantage to using a timer. So we've got a couple here. Um, I have been very satisfied with the uh, pack timers. This is a pack two. Uh, very simple to operate. Simply press a button and you can either have an immediate start or a delayed start. You can also use par times. A par time is simply a set amount of time that you need to complete the drill in. So they're, this is very easy to use. The other one that is very popular, a lot of people have, is the uh, Pocket Pro. Again, another uh, very nice timer. They have slightly different tones. And here's the Pocket Pro, or the um, Pack 2 and I like this tone a little better. It's a little louder, it's a higher pitch. The tone of it is easier to pick up even without electronic earphones. So if you're just running with um, some other type of uh, ear protection, then this tone for me is easier to pick up. What's great about using a timer is the fact that if I'm working on some aspect, and let's say it's presentations from holster, I am approximately seven yards from a target down there. The timer allows me the ability to track my time and see whether I'm making incremental improvement. So that was 1.39. We'll see if we can do any faster. 1.42. And again, this is what, what you really can find a lot of benefits with timers is because they give it so you can record it and you can look at your progress over a period of time. So what you'll note here on the shot timer is the total time it took to complete that string across the top there. 2.88. Then at the bottom you'll notice that the first shot was at 1.42. I'll scroll through these. The next shot was at 2.04 or a split time of 0.62. And then the next one is 2.88. So we have three shots, 2.88 to, uh, to start to finish, and then we have our split time. So that's really what that looks like. We had a par time set of two seconds, three shots, 1.55. When we look at our splits, again, what we're seeing is the time between the shots. So our first shot was 0 0.7, 0 0.42, 0 0.43. So our split times are just under half a second. So I've got a three second par time. I want to put five shots on this piece of steel here uh, within that par time. So we're going to see what that looks like. The bottom line is timers are, in my mind, a must have if you want to continue to develop your skills uh, shooting firearms particularly if you want to understand the minor differences between you know shooting pretty fast and shooting faster and the ability to work on things like malfunctions how quickly can you clear a malfunction your ability to work on reload speed and your ability to improve your shot cadence as well as putting a little bit of pressure on yourself with some par times are some of the reasons I like timers Typically a timer, this quality is about 120 bucks, maybe 130 on the outside. They'll last you for years and years. My last pack timer lasted me for about 15 years and I dropped it enough and beat it up enough that I finally replaced it. Uh, so I have to say, they're well worth it. Whatever brand you get, they are quality. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay safe.